Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is inspired by Autumn and my cousin is going to be the model today. Her name is Catherine and this look features really bronzy colours on the eye and a really nice waterfall braid with a plait at the side and a flower. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let's begin with the makeup. So first we're taking Colour Trend Earthy Shimmery Palette and we're going to be taking this bronzy colour and applying this in the inner corner of the eye making sure to blend it into the skin. From the same Shimmer For Me palette I'm going to be taking an, the other dark brown which is also shimmery and applying that on the outer corner and making sure to blend it in with the previous colour. Next, taking a 120 eyeshadow palette, I'll be taking this really two, these two really goldeny colours and applying them on that first colour in the inner corner. I'm just doing this as a sponge applicator to get the best uh, payoff. Now, from the same palette, I'm taking a fluffy, oh, a flat shader brush, sorry, and a burgundy shimmery colour, and be applying that on that outer corner of the eye, blending it into the previous colour. Next. Taking a small fluffy blending brush, I'll be taking this matte burgundy colour and giving some definition on the outer corner. Giving the eye a nice shape as well. Now I'll be taking a small flat shadow brush and applying a matte white eyeshadow to the brow bone to give a nice highlight. Making sure to really blend it in. also going to be applying a small amount to the inner corner. Next taking a matte brown eyeshadow and a small fluffy brush I'll also again be applying this to the lash line because I didn't want to use liquid eyeliner because it would be too harsh and I just wanted to, this to be a really soft look. I'm also taking this under the eye as well in the outer corner. Next, I'll be taking a brown mascara. This is Aura Flames number 34. And I'm also going to take a gold glitter mascara as well to add some sparkle. And this also is to give a nice soft look. I didn't want to use black because that would be too harsh. I also got Catherine to apply a uh, white eyeliner to a waterline as well. Did this prior to filming. Now I'll be taking the Rimmel's uh, Shimmer Powder in Sun Bronze and I'll just be applying this with a fluffy brush as a contour in the face. Just to give a nice bronzy look from summer and to define cheek moves a bit more. Make sure this is really nicely blended in. Next I'll be taking, um, an, it's actually an eyeshadow but it's kind of a white with a really golden colour and I'll be applying with the same brush and I'll be applying this on her cheekbones to add a bit of a shimmer. Also applying this down the nose and on the cupid's bow, and also a small amount on the forehead. Now I'm just applying whatever's left on my foundation brush, and I'm just applying that to her lips to mattify them out a bit. I'm also going to apply some powder just to set that in place. Next is onto the hair. 
This break can be quite difficult, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to get through and how I explain it. So first you want to take two pieces of hair from one side of the head and just twist them around a little bit. Now you're going to want to take another piece of hair next to that piece and apply that into the middle. And you're going to take it under the first piece of hair and over and take it underneath the second piece of hair. So you're wrapping each piece of hair over the, the piece of hair you've taken and then you drop the piece of hair that's closest to the outside. So again, you take those two pieces, one in the middle, wrap the right one around it and then take the left one around it and drop the one closest. You're going to be wanting to pull these through each time. You want to do this all the way around the head. You take two pieces, put one in the middle, wrap around the third one, one on the right, sorry, and then wrap it around the one on the left and drop the one closest to the right side of the hair. Keep putting these pieces through each time. So again you've got those two pieces, you take the next piece and put it in the middle of those, wrap around that piece around the right strand and around the left strand and drop the one closest to the right. So when you get around to the other side you're going to repeat this all the way through, so you take another piece of hair, place it in the middle, wrap around it the right, the right strand of hair and now the left strand of hair and drop the piece of hair closest to the right. When you get to the end, instead of dropping this piece, you're going to actually plait it so you get a plait falling down. This isn't a usual waterfall braid, you'd usually do one side and then the other. It's my own twist on it, so I do a plait at the end, like so. and then tie a hairband around it just to secure it and make sure it doesn't come out of place Previous to filming I also attached a little flower to the side where the plait starts Make sure to spray this with hairspray to keep it in place and thanks for watching this tutorial my Instagram is created by Shelly and my Twitter is created by underscore Shell. Thanks for watching.